Hey everyone and welcome back. I know I'm a little late to this but I thought I'll make it for those that will be trying these new missions or heists late unlike others who did it in the first week itself. Actually myself included because I couldn't play it in the first week as I was held up with making many of the new videos covering all the topics regarding the new DLC. So this will come in handy for those similar set of players that are starting this out now. This video will be comprising of almost all the tips, tricks and easy methods related to the new mini heists or the robbery missions or contracts or just about anything you wanna say. In case I have missed out any of them or you know something else, then do let us all know down in the comments as it will help out other players. Having said all that, let's get on the video. There are a total of 8 of these new mini heists or contracts but at the moment only 6 of them are available. Two of them are drip feed and we are not sure when they are going to be released. The six of them are actually easy once you get a hang of them. But in the beginning you will absolutely lose your minds. Just like I did when I first played the ECU mission. So for that reason itself, I have compiled all of the easy tips, tricks and easy methods or shortcuts to complete them without it feeling too difficult. Also one thing I want to mention right away is that I'm going to be giving some of the easy ways to complete them. If you want to stick to the slow age old methods then it's up to you. I just focus on the easy methods here. So here we go. At the first is the ECU job. Now for the first setup mission it's going to be a cargo ship which will be in two locations either the shipping yard at the bottom or the one near the bridge. In both of the scenarios the location of the data you got a photograph and the cutter you need to pick up will be in the same areas. Easy way to go about this is to go to the location, wear the uniform which the game prompts you for, fly over to the back side of the ship and land your Mark II where I do. The notepad will be located either at the top or on either of the sides. Take a pick and fly out to the other end of the ship and park at the very end. The cutter will spawn here and you can collect easily and fly right away. For the second setup, just use the Mark II or even the Hydra as you gotta fly halfway across the map for the mission. For the beginning half, it's very simple as you just gotta take photos. So for the second part, just get on the Mark II or Hydra and blast out the enemy NPCs. Collect the information and you can fly out fast. Like I said earlier, you can still do it like the old ways slowly in your cars as well. The choice is yours. For the final heist, you can literally do it the easy way instead of having to waste a ton of time driving the whole distance by choosing the Mark II which makes the mission a lot easier. By following the simple trick of using our other personal vehicles, you can choose just about any vehicle for the final and complete them with ease. The armored Kuruma or even the normal one for this instance as it's got infinite bulletproof protection also makes these missions easier. When you are using any of these cars, just make sure to not waste the sticky bombs as you need to destroy the brakes and stop the train. Else you'll have to keep shooting the brakes and uh, it'll take a little longer. But if you are on the Mark II, then your life becomes easier as you can see the job gets done without a sweat. Simple and easy as that. Just make sure to use the code which Sasanta sends you because if not, you'll end up searching almost all of them. Second, we have the super dollar deal. Going to the first setup is going to help you if you have a hangar in the Fort Zancudo for this mission as you don't have to waste time trying to get the military jeep to access the place. If you don't have the hangar, then you gotta get the vehicle to access inside. When you get to the trailer, you can actually sneak your way in, put the marker and exit by noticing the NPC's walking pattern. In case you get noticed, just run to the jets nearby and fly out of there. The Kuruma will actually come in handy for this particular mission if you are going to get noticed. For the virus software thing, you don't have to actually waste time following that guy on the slow scooter back to the apartment or even have to deal with the enemy NPCs that are gonna spawn there. When you reach the location, just take him out, I mean right then and there itself collect the address and just get going to his place. This saves so much time instead of you having to waste time by following him. For this final heist too, you can actually use any of your personal vehicles and save a lot of time of your precious life. But if you love more action then you can use the DLC cars or even either of the Kurumas. 
Just keep in mind, you can't throw explosives from the armored Kuruma. Be careful as there's gonna be a lot of enemies and your health bar will be drained real quick. Also, when the barrage comes out of the back side of the trailer, I had thought we could actually drive it up, but sadly we can't. It would have been so cool actually, but uh, Rockstar didn't do it that way for some reason. I mean, it would have been much better, right? Nonetheless, damage the trailer and get inside as soon as possible. Also, if you notice something, you can see that when I'm using the Jester, I'm not getting shot from the back side of the car. This is the benefit of getting the rear window logos installed on the car. For some reason, it acts like a bulletproof shield for us from the back side. So get that installed if you're going to be using this car for the missions. Along with that, the bulletproof tires as well. They play a very good role. If not, you're going to get your tires blown out real quick. Once you're done sealing the plates, you have a long way to drive back all whilst evading the NPCs. Up next, we have the bank contract. With the first setup mission, add to this the same Mark II or the Hydra for this mission as you gotta travel halfway across the map, steal the thermal charges from the police shootout scene and again fly all the way back. So using those type of fast vehicles will cut short a lot of time. For the jammer mission, there's actually an easy shortcut or I can say skip forward method to complete them quickly. Since this is annoying just like the Kyoperico High setup missions, as you need to go around the map a lot, you can skip this without paying much heed to this mission. Just go to the mark location, pick up the jammers, after that go to the nearest bank location, install the first jammer, go right away to the creator mode and then get back into the invite only lobby to have the mission completed. Saves you a ton of time from simply getting wasted. For the final heist, I suggest using the Calico GTF as it's the fastest car in this DLC cause for some weird reason you can't use your other personal vehicles in this heist. So since Calico is the fastest and also has the best grip or traction, it'll be our choice. Now for the order of locations, I suggest you start from the bottom section and go upwards towards the top section of the map which is in the Grand Sonora Desert. This will be in order and you can complete them easily like I did without any hassle. Also when you get to the banks, just ram into them through the entrance kind of like you know blocking it. This helps in preventing cops from coming in while you are on the inside and also completely removes your character's slow actions of getting in or out as you teleport in or out right away. So this is a very helpful tip and uh, just make sure to stack up on snacks and armor as you'll need them a lot. Weapon selection doesn't matter much as we won't be shooting anyone in this heist. Act 4 we have the prison contract. This is actually one of the easiest heist missions. For the first setup mission, you just gotta drive around Lil D to two locations, fairly simple. Okay. And when you do get to the end, just take out the two following NPC cars and you can then proceed further. For the second setup mission, you just gotta steal a trailer from a movie scene. In this mission, you actually get to see the Terminator easter egg. You can see from the movie setup as well as the particular NPC who is dressed just like the Terminator and also surprisingly has a lot of armor as you can see from the video. I mean so many headshots and he's still not dead. Once you steal the trailer, you actually get cops on you. To lose them, it's not like the earlier ways where you could just die and you would lose them. So instead, you can just call up your terabyte, just go inside and come out. If you don't have the terabyte, then just join a game invite and quit right back to have the cops completely gone. Also for this mission, if you have the phantom wedge, then use it as it's gonna be a lot faster than the ones they're gonna be giving you. For the final heist, since you gotta take on a lot of cops, just get the armored Kuruma or even better the normal Kuruma as it's got infinite bulletproof protection. Also you can use the explosives. Just head over, jump into the prison, take out the targets and while sitting back you gotta take out these boxes of some sort for the gates to open up. Once done, get little D and drive out to the destination. As simple as that. No sweat. Next we have the data contract. First setup is very easy as you just gotta follow the heli to a bunker. 
you can actually make out which bunker it is going towards by just looking at the map and the heli direction. The same thing you did for the Kyoperico weapon setup mission following the Valkyrie. When you reach the bunker and finish taking a photo of it, all you gotta do is steal the barrage and deliver it to the auto shop. Simple as that. For the second setup mission, once again you can skip this or fast forward it if you are a solo player by using the same method from earlier. Or you can complete this if you're gonna be playing with other players. In order to skip ahead, all you gotta do is just start up the mission, head out to the creator mode and log back into the invite only lobby. And as you can see, the mission is complete. Saves a lot of time as it's pointless if you are a solo player, you know. For the final heist, you can use your other personal vehicles which means using the Kuruma to make our lives easier. Once you get to the bunker, you can either go about the usual way on foot or you can get back in the car and take out a few enemies with the protection of the Kuruma. After that, I suggest you start clearing out the bunker from one side, that is the right side as you can hide your left body taking cover, instead of doing it the opposite way and exposing yourselves to getting shot at. Also you can find the railgun on one of the tables and you can actually take it. Although for some reason Rockstar has put limited ammo in this mission, just 3 of them. Once the bunker part is finished, you gotta head out to the docks area and protect Avi from the enemies. Now if you didn't realize, then there's few support crew options that you can get in order to make the missions a little easier. I too hadn't paid much attention in the beginning but decided to give them a try. There's various options including calling for a backup to help you with defending. It's not much but just a little help as you can see here the backup is dealing with the enemy NPCs. You can also get your car repaired as well in case you get it damaged way too much during the mission. So yeah, don't forget to give them a try during this new mission's final highs. Now back to protecting Avi, I suggest you take cover right next to the door and take out the enemies as and when they come in. Cause if you step out then you'll get shredded in a matter of 2-3 to three seconds. Although you can try staying in the Kuruma and taking out those NPCs, but you gotta get inside once the weaponized Tampa and the half track spawns as they'll blast you instantly. So better option is to stay inside and slowly deal with them. Try taking out the weaponized Tampa drivers from the inside, then use the Tampa to take out the 4 helis one at a time. Once that is dealt with, take out the half track and you'll be done with the mission in no time. I actually used the railgun in the end as you can see and it kind of made it even more easier for me. Finally we have the agency deal. For the first setup mission you can do it the easy way by flying over with the Mark II and landing where there's no security guards vision. All you gotta do is go through these temporary office boxes or something and find the schematic. Fairly easy if you just sneak past the guards. I mean take a look at the video, I literally just walk right in front of one of the guards, I mean in this cone of vision. So it's actually pretty easy and when you get to the tunnels after you take the photo, you can actually exit very quickly by going in this direction and flying up. As you can see it has this open area with no collision and you can quickly get outside. For the second setup, just like the earlier ECU job or the bank contract setup missions, just use the Mark II or the Hydra to fly over to the location, take out the NPCs, steal the pass and deliver it back to the location. If you are in a ground vehicle, just keep in mind to take out the guy as soon as he comes out of the aircraft as he'll get into the armored vehicle and start driving away and you'll have to go chase him down. Once done, just deliver it back and you are done. For the final heist, I suggest the new Jester RR to take benefit of the back window protection as you can't use other personal vehicles for this heist. Also for the weapon loadout, the Hustler is the best choice. Once you're on the inside, make sure to take cover and clear out enemies one by one and only then move ahead. Don't rush cause there will be like multiple enemies and it won't actually show up on your minimap. So be very careful. Take it easy and don't rush at all. Also when you're on the inside, you can go up the stairs here and through the glass you can actually see one of those Avon's juggernauts being placed on the table. Pretty cool right? 
Once done with the cutscene, you just gotta follow the same way you came in and be careful not to die and uh, make your way outside. When you come up to the place where you gotta find the recipe, make sure to look for a shovel. This will make it easy to find the spot. Collect it and deliver it to complete the mission. So there we have it. Those are all the tips, tricks and easy methods to make these missions easier. If you all know anything else or if I have missed any of them, then do let us all know down in the comments. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all and have a good day.